finished putting together my work calendar for the month of November. Question, do you guys keep a separate monthly work calendar like outside of Slack, Google, or Outlook? Because there is something about being able to see my entire month at a glance that I just find so incredibly centering. I could just open this and it shows me exactly like what my busier days are. And of course, it's something that I add to as the month goes on. So I've just pre-filled it with every single known item up into this point and it's just a lot of meetings, okay? It's really what I have going on is a lot of meetings to attend, but I've been up for hours, it feels like. I peeled myself out of the bed around 6.45 because I just decided enough is enough. I need to figure out what a good morning routine for me is gonna be like because just waking up in time to maybe fix myself something to eat for breakfast, brush my teeth, wash my face, and log on is just, it's feeling extremely chaotic. So this morning I got up and I did a little bit of computer work. I've been meaning to do a cleanup of my SSD that I edit off of and I just hadn't gotten around to it, but I was attempting to transfer footage this morning and I couldn't because it was full. So I'm really trying to wait until Black Friday to buy the one terabyte SSD. I'm probably gonna have to like patch some things together and figure out how to move some footage around and stuff to get through November, but y'all don't care about that. That is a me problem. Um, but that did take me an hour. And then after that, I was able to feed myself. Like I ate leftover pumpkin waffles that I had prepped, but then I also did something for myself yesterday. I made more waffles. <laughs> they're not pumpkin flavor, they're regular waffles, but that will give me breakfast for another two days this week, which I absolutely love. Made myself a chai this morning and was able to get ready for work like slow and steady and not feel like I was rushing. So this is just day one. Like tomorrow I'm gonna try something else because obviously I'm not gonna need to work on like transferring files for my SSD or whatever. You know, at some point I would love to share a morning routine with y'all, but right now I'm just in the phase of just trying to figure things out for myself and try to just get my morning started in a way that they don't feel chaotic and I don't know where this overwhelming sense of chaos has come from lately, but it is not sitting well with me and it's making me super anxious and making me feel like I just don't have time for things, which is quite annoying. Anyway, today for work is just, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it's gonna be a regular work day. I had a meeting on the calendar and that meeting got canceled. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in that time with the project that I've been working on. I also have a training that I need to prep for later on this week. What also has been designated to me is our team holiday luncheon. <laughs> like, I knew this was coming because when I was on this team before, I was the person that was responsible for like all of the celebratory things, whether or not it was a team event for, I don't know, just getting together quarterly, birthdays, the holidays and whatnot. So I need to figure out something to put together for our team so we can kind of decide what we want to do for the holidays considering December is next month. But I'm not going to work on that right now because I feel like I mean, not feel like it is what it is. My highest priority is to get working on this project, the second half of this project that I started last week. So I am going to start back on that. I just wanted to formally open the vlog because I was in between tasks and I knew if I didn't do it then, I was not gonna do it. So I'll check in with y'all in a bit. again <laughs> apologies if you can hear my space heater um, I'm just trying to warm up a little bit it's a little chilly working in front of this window so I'm just gonna let it go for a few minutes and if it doesn't warm up like how I truly need to be warm right now I'm just gonna cut on the heat I also thought that I was gonna have to make myself lunch today until I remembered I had date night leftovers from Capital Grill this is their roasted chicken with risotto and I have green beans on the side. I also have a container of mashed potatoes, which makes me feel so good because that's half of another meal. You know what I mean? That is a side. All I need to do is pull together a protein. So 
I think I'm gonna sit here, eat my lunch, and watch something on YouTube, and then with whatever time I have left, I want to try and, what's the word? Recoil, that's the word. I wanna try my hand at uncoiling and recoiling this planner because this past weekend I went to Home Depot and I got some pliers. Like I have some pliers already, but they're like the fat ones. And from the video that I watched, the needle nose ones will probably do me better. So I'm gonna give that a go. But until then, I'm gonna be parked on my butt under this blanket watching a video because I've been working, girl, and I deserve. <laughs> This was actually a little bit challenging to get out of here. Like, I'm trying to make it as straight as possible, but also trying to use this cloth to wrap around the plier so I don't ding it up too bad. And I think I'm gonna call it here and just try to unravel. All right, I've been at this for a few minutes and this is <laughs> frightening. This is pretty sharp right here. And then even on this side is pretty sharp and I'm doing my very best to undo this. But to be honest, this is quite literally taking forever to do. I feel like when the other lady was doing it, she was going a whole lot faster than I am. But at the same time, I do remember her using binder clips for this. And this is the largest binder clip that I have, which is not quite big enough to wrap around all of these pages. I'm just hoping I don't rip anything. I'm thinking this is as close as I can get. So I am just taking the coil on this side and turning it and then going back here and holding this part of the book because the coil is moving. See that? It's moving. It's just taking a lot of effort. All right, I've done it and I personally don't know if I recommend this unless you're making like a huge change to your planner because girlfriend, I went through all of that work just to rearrange this amount of pages. So like just that, all of this for just this. Um, I think I may have broken one. Yes, this one here, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but that right there, if I put some additional pressure on that, I'm almost certain that that piece is gonna snap off. Um, I think I'm just gonna work on this later and enjoy the rest of what's left of my break. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna leave this here. Because I need to think about my life and why I thought it was worth my time to uncoil an entire notebook for 20 pages. Yeah. It's a no for me. It's every bit of 6.05 and it's just about dark outside. I also feel like whatever little energy I had when I woke up this morning doing my thing, it's gone. <laughs> I want to lay down. I really just want to get in the bed. But I'm going to late dinner tonight. Closing these blinds I, every day. Ugh. What was I saying? Yeah, I'm going to kind of like a late dinner tonight around 7.30. Now, like I said, it's 6.05. So I'm contemplating in my mind if taking a nap is in my best interest. It feels like it's not because even if I do get some rest, my sleep is going to be thrown off for tomorrow. And I'm probably going to run into the same issue tomorrow. So... Shooting this way just makes more sense because of the light, but I think what I'm gonna do is take care of these dishes in the sink from breakfast and lunch. Honestly, I'm just gonna throw them all into the dishwasher and then I'm gonna start another book because I have not started The Coworker. I've still been working on Leslie's memoir, but 
but I think I'm going to swap to this coworker book because I think just the thrill of it all may keep me awake a little bit. And for real, if I fall asleep, I fall asleep. I'll just set an alarm for 7.30 so I can get up and leave. <laughs> The absolute value formula is just going to change them all to positive amount. So how long did you try? Oh, <laughs> it took me 20 minutes. Look how fast this is going. I mean, what? He fixed it for me. Icing on the cake. Do y'all know this man didn't even charge me for fixing this catastrophe that I created? Like, it's all back together exactly like how I wanted it to. He said like, once it's unbound, getting it back together is like nothing. And so he was gonna use the original coil, but I was just like, you know what? I don't know if there's enough at one of those ends to like fold it back on itself because I broke a little piece off. It was so small, but like enough to me to the fact where I was like, okay, I gotta be careful how I recoil it because I want that piece at the top so it's not scratching my arm while I was writing. So instead of the silver coil, I actually opted to go with the black one. I'm not sure if that's the only one that they had, but that's the one that I ended up, you know, getting. I am so incredibly grateful for this. Like, I just bless his soul. So now I feel even more inclined to use this planner because look at how much work has gone into this thing. Anyway, moving on. I have like 10 minutes to get home because I have a meeting that I need to attend. I also brought my lunch with me because I thought it was going to take a while to the point where I could just come outside and eat my lunch. But this whole process happened fairly quickly. So my lunch is still warm. I'm going to just scarf it down because... I need to get back home because I have a meeting at three. Well, it's a meeting, but it's also a training. I am out here going for a walk two minutes to sunset because I am just feeling a little anxious and not a little anxious. I need to like stop downplaying that and call it what it is I'm feeling anxious okay and the reason is because I before I logged off I went ahead and jump started my to-do list because last week it worked fine uh, yesterday it worked fine but today it was just like the amount of things on my work to-do list there's a car. <laughs> the amount of things on my work to-do list just feels stifling right now. And it's because my brain is firing in so many different directions. Okay, this is gonna be my fourth time trying to record this clip because I feel like all I've been doing is rambling. Um, I walked a little bit and then I found a place to sit down because those cars just kept passing. And honestly, cars keep passing right in front of my face, but it's fine. I'm just, I'm gonna try to make this not as awkward. Uh, what was I saying before? Um, I'm feeling anxious and I think I'm feeling anxious because I'm overwhelmed and I think I'm overwhelmed because my brain has just been firing in 50,000 directions today. I had a couple of meetings that kind of left me like, what? Like, so what am I actually supposed to do? And that feeling is never good because I tend to feel like finding the solution to the problem is 100% on me and even more so because I have a meeting tomorrow right and this meeting I'm supposed to produce some kind of solution for one of the like project type things that I got assigned maybe like a week ago and as I've been working on the solution I feel like every single time I talk to somebody or every time I read something I'm opening a new can of worms and obviously those can of worms come with their own questions and own problems and I'm just like 
can we get to the end of this rope so I can figure out how to put all this back together? And it's basically D-Day because that meeting tomorrow is, I don't know, I think around two o'clock. So I'm just like, <sighs> stress, okay? I need to figure out several things when I log in tomorrow so I can be prepared for this meeting. Um, needless to say, after I looked at the list that I made for myself to do tomorrow, I just like took a deep breath and was like, I need to go outside. <laughs> I need some fresh air. So maybe I can chill out because You've locked off work for the day, boo. There's nothing else that you can do for tonight, so like that definitely needs to be a tomorrow problem. Other than that, I think I'm good. There are a couple of things that I wanna do when I get home. Oh, well, when I get back home, specifically meal prep wise, like I ate pasta, leftover pasta today, but I don't want that tonight, so I need to like scrounge around and kind of figure out what the heck I'm gonna eat. But yeah, um, truly I don't know what else to say here, except that you know, stress from work is normal. Feeling overwhelmed with work is normal, especially with the things that I'm doing. This was expected. I just don't like the feeling right now. And I honestly need to top, stop talking about it because I am, work is over, work is over. So um, I'm gonna switch from talking to y'all and put on some music or something and walk a little bit more. It's 5.52 right now. Sunset was at 5.40, so I think I have maybe 15 more minutes before it gets dark, dark outside. And I definitely want to be in the house before that happens. And leftovers continue to be undefeated. I mean, I've got mashed potatoes here, chopped chicken, which technically qualifies as leftovers because it did get meal prepped, but it's been in the freezer for probably a week and a half. And then freezer broccoli, you know, threw that thing in the air fryer, seasoned it, and here we go. Dinner problem is solved. Good morning. Having a bit of a rough go, okay? I woke up this morning at like 6 o'clock, maybe a little bit after 6 with a headache. So I had the heating pad on my head for, I guess, two hours because the light was off by the time I actually woke up. And then I just laid there trying to decide like how I was going to tackle this morning because I just did not feel like doing anything and my head was still like hurting a little bit. So I settled on making myself some tea. I took some Tylenol and just sat in this living room in the dark for like another, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. Needless to say, it's now nine o'clock and I finally locked in for work today. I just, oh, I still... Like, this is my list. This is what I was talking about yesterday. Like, not any of this at the top, but like, this right here is what I've got to get done today. And now I feel like I'm contending with a headache on top of that. And it's just giving the devil is working, okay? But the Lord is working harder because I had a meeting mid-morning that got rescheduled to tomorrow so it's literally nothing but independent work time up until this meeting I have to present for, which I love that for me. We are going to get through this day, okay? I don't care. <laughs> I do not care. We are going to get through this day. Um, hopefully, I'm feeling better soon. I'm going to give this Tylenol another hour, maybe hour and a half to kick in. And if it does not work, I am going to take an Excedrin. I don't care because I just don't have time to be sitting here with a headache today. But yeah, this work is not going to do itself. So let me get started uh, working in my little dungeon for the morning. <laughs> I just hope my waffles don't taste like broccoli because I definitely did not wipe down the inside of my air fryer last night. And then because I'm just not in the mood to create extra dishes, this is leftover or really just like the last of some blueberry preserves and I just put Greek yogurt in there. So we're gonna make do for breakfast today. All right, I've got two minutes before this meeting at one o'clock and 
I think I done done it. I think I done done something. Now, did I get through every single thing on this list that I had made yesterday? No, but the things that I feel are vital to this meeting that I'm about to go into, I definitely did get done. And I have just about a page and a half of talking points to get through. So wish me luck. I feel like I've done something here. And I hope the feedback from this meeting is the feedback that I'm hoping that I get because trying to untangle this mess has been challenging to say the least. <laughs> I'm not really feeling all that hungry right now. So I believe what I'm going to do is get back to working on my pumpkin. So this is also gonna be a crochet update. This right here, I'm trying to get all of my stuff out of here with out messing up anything okay this is how far i have gotten on this pumpkin and as a reminder <laughs> this is the size of my very first one i don't know who i think i am making the pumpkin this big i increased all of the stitches by two-thirds because i just wanted to see how much bigger it would make the pumpkin and it's huge <laughs> and I don't even have like a whole lot of yarn left, but right now I'm just working on decreases. So I don't know, I may have enough yarn to get through it. If not, then I'm definitely gonna have to go to the store at some point and hope that they still have it because I only bought one skein and I've had this yarn for months now. So that is a problem to deal with once I get to the end of this, but for now, I'm just gonna sit here and watch a little TV. I found this movie on Prime Video. It's called The Little Things and it has Denzel in it as well as, I think it's Rumi. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Rumi Malik. Rami Malik. He is the guy that was in Bohemian Rhapsody and I loved that movie so much. But this one is two hours and eight minutes. So I'm just gonna sit here and watch an hour's worth while I work on my little crochet project. Honestly, almost no progress at all because I ended up frogging so many different times, but I'm back on track now. <laughs> it's about 7.30 and I feel like I'm just about to call it a night. I have the projector on and I'm probably going to find something to watch, but I just feel like I never fully recovered from that headache today. Either that or the medication just didn't make me feel good. My head was still hurting just the tiniest bit up until maybe like an hour ago, but I'm still just feeling devoid of energy that's probably what i'm going to be doing for the rest of the night just sitting here being a potato watching tv happy friday junior where the theme of the day is nothing else but hydrate okay uh last night i feel like i got a little bit better before no feel like it got a little bit worse before it got better for whatever reason, I started feeling nauseous on top of just being devoid of energy. And the only thing that I can think of is either I didn't eat enough yesterday or I should have taken the Tylenol and Excedrin with food in my stomach already, which the latter doesn't quite make sense because I do it all the time. I don't know what's going on, but it's giving, is she about to be sick? And I legitimately just don't have time to be sick. So I'm gonna start with the most obvious thing and hydrate and possibly flush out whatever is in my body lingering. Um, I have my breakfast on the stove. We are making pumpkin oatmeal today because I still have a bunch of pumpkin cubes. I actually have a container of some pumpkin puree that I didn't freeze because there is a pumpkin mocktail that I would like to try. We might actually be trying that during lunch because today I have a meeting block that spans from 10.30 to 12.45 without a single break in between. It is the culmination of three separate meetings. And I'm just looking like, <laughs> like why, why are we doing this? Like why? Riddle me this. Why do we put meetings on the calendar without breaks in between? Like, why? I feel like I try my very best when I'm scheduling something on somebody else's calendar to give them like a five minute break, especially if I notice that they've been in meetings for like over an hour. Because if nothing else, so they can get up and go to the bathroom or get themselves something to drink or find a snack or something. Uh, but that does not seem to be a popular habit amongst my organization. I know 
Outlook has settings where on your calendar, it won't allow you to book yourself back-to-back -back meetings. Like you can set it to say, hey, Outlook, when I need to schedule meetings, please make sure I have a five minute grace period between my meetings and it'll let you do that. But I'm wondering if I turn that on, will it also prompt the person sending me a meeting to push it back a few minutes? I think that would be helpful. And honestly, like who wants to sit in meetings back to back to back to back with no break? So I have that and then um, I've got some time in between where I'm gonna take lunch and then I have another meeting today. So all that to say, today is a very meeting heavy day. So my biggest time block for work is going to be now up until my first meeting. So I've got about two hours. I'm gonna sit here and try and get through a couple of items on my list. I think I can get through at least two of them before this meeting I have at 1030 and then we're just gonna see where the day takes us, okay? to 2022 or whatever but now that I'm touching invoices that are in the current year mama we made it it is well we actually we made it plus some because it is 150 right now just got off of another call it wasn't like a planned meeting or anything and I've got another meeting at three o'clock so what I've got just about an hour to replenish myself. I do need to go to Target. Um, I also need to make a stop by CVS, but I should probably concern myself with nourishing my body, my actual body. So I'm thinking, I saw this last night in my refrigerator because I completely forgot that I got this salad kit. I'm gonna make this up real quick and then get it down and maybe I'll have time to run to CVS. I don't think I'm gonna have time to go to Target with the time I have left, but we'll see. Probably could use more dressing, but this is fine. If I do end up still hungry, I will find something else. <laughs> but is it good though? We're about to find out. You know what? That's not bad. I do think it could use a little bit more dressing. And even more of those little crunchy things, they are dill pickled flavored, but I can't really taste them in here. They just provide more of like a zip, if anything else. Truly not bad though. If you see it on sale, it's worth a shot. To be quite frank with you, um, I got to CVS and was like, dang, I got a sweet tooth. I need to try and do something about it. So I stopped by this local bakery shop that was over there and picked up a couple of things. These are not all for me, um, but even if they were, girl, mind your business. <laughs> this is a, matter of fact, let me get the receipt. Hold on. Okay, the receipt says basic gooey, but this is like a lemon something. Then I got a chocolate chip Heath bar, which I think is this one. A regular chocolate chip and then do you know these girls had an oatmeal cream pie situation so I definitely picked that up I need to try that so I think the cookie that I'm gonna eat now while I chill for the rest of my break is probably gonna be this one because it's the first one that I picked man this looks really good and it tastes good too look here when I started this vlog this morning, I mentioned that the overall theme today was going to be hydrate. Now this will be my final bottle of water for the day. I drank one this morning and then I had a 32 ounce jar during my meeting and I actually put some lemon juice in there. So if you're looking at the footage like, dang, it's cloudy, what is she drinking? Girl, that was some leftover lemon juice I had in the refrigerator and was like, I need to use this before it goes bad. And then I've been working on this. So once this is down, this will be 96 ounces for today. We did it! <laughs> we did it! I am so full right now. I can't even imagine drinking another bottle before I go to bed, even though that's what my lifestyle used to be like. I would knock out four 32 ounce bottles in a day with no problem. 
but getting through this third one was a little bit challenging. So what I'm gonna do is because it's only 540, I'm gonna fill this water bottle up. And if I do get thirsty, I will drink some water. If I don't get thirsty, I won't be drinking any of this. I actually have not even had my sweet drink for the day yet, which, man, I know I was talking about making that little mocktail, but I don't even feel like it. But I have some juice in the refrigerator. So when it comes time to eat dinner, I'll probably have juice. But then also, if I get thirsty after that, I will be trying to work on my fourth bottle. So I'm just going to sit here and chill for a little while. I probably will edit for some and then find something to watch on TV that's mindless so I can finish the top part of this pumpkin. Like, why is this taking me so long to... Janetta, you know exactly why this is taking so long. You woke up one day and decided that you've only been crocheting for a handful of days, yet you decided that you can design a pattern. <laughs> I'm crazy! I took that lady's pattern and was like, oh, I bet you I can make it bigger. Ciao. Yeah, that's exactly why this is taking me so long, but I also need to buy more stitch markers because, hold on, let me show y'all. Okay, look, I also need to buy some more stitch markers because if I have multiple projects going on at once, because the assumption here is that I'm gonna be crocheting long-term, okay? Will I be crocheting every day? Probably not, but I would like to at least be working on something intermittently throughout the month or whatnot. So if I am like jumping from project to project, I'm definitely gonna need more stitch markers because for this one alone, I kept losing track of my rows. So I have a stitch marker for every single row. And then these yellow ones, I think are when I started building in the decreases and I wanted to make sure that I was counting accurately. Anyway, long story short, I need more stitch markers because I legitimately only have two more left in this and I've just been moving them up every single row, which I think you're supposed to do, but I would like the option not to and also to have more for different projects. Not me rambling about crochet. I am my mother's child. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you can't actually be serious. Fried chicken. Ooh, ooh. You're gonna see my dinner. <laughs> you gonna find this at the Capitol Grill. No, you did a good job though. This hair is so crusty. Like, what is this? I need to wash it and stop playing. Like seriously, I don't even know how old this press is at this point. I, I don't know. Yesterday's oatmeal was so nice. Your girl had to do it twice. Uh, this flavor combination is actually pretty bussin. And at the last second yesterday, I just decided to chop up some walnuts and put it in there. That is just like my regular oatmeal with a tablespoon of pumpkin puree in there. And then I seasoned it with pumpkin pie spice. And it's, it's giving, it's giving, especially on this cold fall morning. Hmm, onto this water. So last night I did manage to drink eight more ounces and I just topped it off this morning. So I feel like let's do it again. Let's do it again today because I shouldn't just be hydrating to avoid sickness. I should be hydrating for the sake of actually hydrating. Today is Friday though. We finally made it to Friday. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I did not think we were gonna get here. <laughs> this has been the longest week, I'm afraid. And quite frankly, I am ready for this week to be over. I have one meeting today, praise the Lord. And it's at 11. So I've got quite a bit of time to get some work done before then. Um, What else? What else? That fried chicken last night was so dang good. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the thing that happens when you make fried chicken is everything legitimately smells fried. I tried to get ahead of it last night. The vents were on, but the vents, you know, apartments, the vents are not really strong enough to do what they really need to be doing. So I started burning this candle because cinnamon is such a strong smell. It usually will work to help like get other strong smells out. And honestly, this is one of my favorite Bath & Body Works candles. I think I may have an extra one of these in storage. I hope I do. I need to check because isn't candle day coming around soon? I don't know when that is. 
somebody tell me, is Candle Day during the holidays or is that something that happens after the new year? Because I literally always find out at the very last minute. But if I can snag some more of these um, hot spiced, what is it? Spiced apple toddies, I wouldn't mind. What was I getting at? What I was getting at is that I need to relight this candle and let it go for a little while to help get the residual of the fried chicken smell out of here because fried chicken tastes good and it smells good at first, but when the smell lingers for too long, it just starts to get annoying. So I'm gonna do that and I'm also gonna open my patio door over here. All right, I'm gonna let that go while I officially start my work day and get some things going. So. Here's just staying hydrated and having a good work day today. Like the most overwhelming part for me so far was just turning my brain back on. The longest day, the longest day. <laughs> It is 4.55, so yes, we are logged out, out of work, and we are out to run an errand. I'm gonna go to Target because I placed an order pickup that I thought I was gonna be able to do during lunch, but girl, it did not happen. And then on top of that, I forgot to eat lunch, so I did bring a little container of Cheez-Its with me that I have since destroyed because I just didn't have anything on my stomach. We're just gonna go and pick up our order, and on top of that, <laughs> I'm gonna get that drive up order and then I'm gonna go inside the store because you know what? I'm not rushing. <laughs> We're off work. Not them lying when the toothpaste I wanted is right here. First things first, I need to get down the rest of this water because it's my second bottle today and it is 645. All right, now that that is done, so Target pickup order has been secured. I actually scheduled a pickup order versus drive up, so I would have had to go into the store anyway. So outside of just like the regular household type items that I picked up, let me show you what else that I found. First off, we have this adjustable rolling pin. Y'all, I have wanted a rolling pin like this for such a long time. And for whatever reason, I just never sought one out. I've just been getting by with the one that I have. And the one that I have is just the traditional one. It's the piece of wood and it has the little uh, handles on the side that you just roll over things. But when it comes to having a sense of how tall your pastry is or whatever, I've just been using my bench scraper because one of my bench scrapers has a ruler on it. This, however... You see these little rings here? These little rings are measurements. So the tan one is a 1 16th of an inch. The blue is an eighth of an inch. The white is a quarter of an inch and the gray is three eighths of an inch. So it takes the guesswork out of making sure that the pastry is even all the way across because there's a ring on either side. And when you're rolling it, as long as your dough is big enough well no i'm saying that backwards as long as your dough is small enough to fit between your rolling pin and the rings you will get a perfect measurement every time i love this so much for my holiday baking self next two things i got are candles because i have been burning for the longest time in the living room this the gratitude candle it is bergamot and fig y'all this one it smells so Good. I literally do not know how to explain the smell out of this candle except for the fact that it smells good but I burnt through the last one like I literally just threw it away maybe the day before yesterday so I was very pleasantly surprised when I was walking around and I saw they had another one so I picked it up and then y'all <laughs> first of all Target is in full Christmas swing and when I mean full Christmas swing when I walked into the store the spot section lit it's giving christmas like there's the tiniest handful of anything fall related in there outside of like the kid craft area 
But then I was walking around the store because I knew that I also wanted to find another candle like this replacement one, if not this fragrance, something else. And I messed around and walked past the little hearth and home section. Baby girl, it is Christmas up in Target, okay? Magnolia and Hearth and Hand are decking the halls already. They have all of their little small candles and bigger candles and vessels like this this year. Is this even by Hearth and Hand? No, this is Threshold. So in that Hearth and Hand section, there's like a bunch of Christmas candles. This is the vessel that caught my eye and the fragrance that I got is Apple Cinnamon Joy. But also while I was over there perusing the fragrances, Forest Fur has taken over the holidays. <laughs> I got that candle last year off a recommendation, I think off of a YouTube video, and I myself am a huge fan of the fragrance. I just could not remember at the time whether or not I had more than one forest fur candle in my collection because I feel like last year when I went to get a second one, they didn't have the size that I wanted, so I had to order it online. Anyway, I say all that to say, girl, they had forest fur in this size. It's a green vessel with the same little gold inside. They had it in a medium size, which I think was like 11 ounces, a larger size for 19 ounces, and then so many other varieties and flavors that you could get forest fur in. They had it in pillar candles. They had a diffuser. A, I want to say it was like a silver candle where you take the top off of the tree and the inside candle wax, forest fur. They had a circle ornament, same deal, forest fur. Everybody's house is about to smell like forest fur this year because I feel like that is the only fragrance that Target is pushing as hard as they are pushing it. Anyway, I say that to say I had the 11 ounce candle like this in my cart, but then I took it out because I wandered over to the book section because I was looking for three books that y'all had recommended to me. Um, one was Get a Life, Chloe Brown. The other one was Never a Lie, another Freedom McFadden book. And then the third one, I legitimately cannot remember, so I will stick the cover art here because I have it written down somewhere. And while I was there, I ran into the most darling ladies in there, and we got caught up talking about A Court of Thorns and Roses and some other books that they had read, and I was busy recommending them Freedom McFadden because right now I am on a roll. Speaking of, I have finished The Coworker. Chow, the way she writes these books, <laughs> I cannot, okay? So anyway, they recommended me a book that was there and I had it in my cart and I was looking for something else. Um, it's probably the book that I can't remember the title of. I was looking for that specific book and I could not find it. Target said they had two copies and I couldn't find it. So what I did was I went online and first of all, I went online because I wanted to see how many copies they had or if it even was in store because I was looking around for a while and could not find it. Apparently they had two copies left, but it's like I could not find it. So I went ahead and started placing an order for in-store pickup. What you know about that book was 48% off online and I was gonna pay full price for it if I found it in the store? Nah, so I went ahead and put the other book back and looked for it on the Target app. Same scenario, okay? So I ended up ordering all three books on Target's website and I did the math in the car on my way home. I would have ordinarily paid $51 for those books, $36 after all the discounts. Excuse me? So the fourth book that I was looking for, I went into Barnes and Noble. They did not have it either and apparently, you know what, the book that I was looking for in Barnes and Noble was by Freedom McFadden. It was The Never Lie. And for whatever reason, this girl is doing a reprint of this book, which is not available until December the 5th for Barnes and Noble and it would have been $18. <sighs> After I had this man look up this book and he said that it was not gonna be available until December the 5th and he tried to convince me to order it and wait, I popped on Amazon, $9. <laughs> that book is coming tomorrow. So I say all that to say, I don't know if this is a standard thing, but girl, if you're going into Target looking for a book, check the app because it's very likely that you will get a deeper discount on your book if you can wait a day or two because target shipping is two days, okay? Same thing for Barnes & Noble. Unless there is like a hardcover book that you absolutely have to have the cover for, listen, all I'm gonna, I'm not gonna tell you not to patronize Barnes & Noble, okay? That is not what I'm saying here. But what I'm saying is reading can be a very expensive habit that I am now finding out, okay? These books are adding up, but I stay trying to find a book on sale and it seems like the Target app is where it's at. Anyway, with that being said, 
I'm about to make myself some dinner. I'm thinking frozen pizza, and I also feel like we're about to make this mocktail that I've been whining about for the last two days. <laughs> mocktail that I'm going to try is called a pumpkin caipirina style mocktail. I have had this recipe flagged from Publix for all of eternity. It is so old. This is where I messed up. I forgot to get limes. Let me see if I can. Nope, you're just going to have to look down, girl. <laughs> I forgot to get any limes. So what I did was use lemons as a substitution. So if I get around to it, I may be able to try this drink with lime because I may have enough pumpkin puree to make that work. So I'm just gonna make half of what the recipe calls for. So we're gonna do two tablespoons of lemon juice because that is half of a quarter of a cup. And I have this much zest, so I'm just gonna, I don't know, throw a pinch in there. And then it also calls for one tablespoon of ginger, but I'm gonna do half, which is probably about that much. A half a cup of pumpkin puree. So if a quarter of a cup, yeah, a quarter of a cup is four tablespoons. So one, two, three, four, and then I need two tablespoons of honey. This seems like a lot of sweetener. That's just an observation. I could be wrong. Well, no, because it is pumpkin puree. Okay, let me chill. <laughs> and then I need a half a cup of pineapple juice. One full cup is 240 mils, so half a cup is 120. Then it just says whisk to combine. I do think the lime would have been nice because it would have offered a little bit of contrast. The green zest in here would have been really pretty. But in tons of recipes, they say lemons and limes are substitutions for each other. I don't know how true that is with this drink, but again, if I get around to it and I can taste it with the limes, I will let you know how that fares. So the recipe does call to chill this drink until it's ready to serve, but I'm gonna cheat that a little bit. I have some ice in a mason jar, and I'm just gonna dump this in here. I'm gonna add my top and just do a little shaky. Probably not the best choice of glass because it doesn't fill it all the way, but it's fine. <laughs> okay, this is the pumpkin, let me get the title right, pumpkin caipirina style mocktail. I feel like the other version of this has rum. I am not sure about that because it's a mocktail people, but if I can find like a recipe for like the original pumpkin caipirina, I will put it down in the description box. All right, here goes nothing. This drink is really good. <laughs> this is really good. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is very, very good. Um, I don't taste like a whole lot of pumpkin. The ginger has the perfect kick in here. The pineapple juice is singing. Mouthfeel. It's a little thick, but not overwhelmingly so. Wow. All this time during pumpkin season, I've been making hot drinks and oatmeal when I could have been making a cold drink the entire time. Wow. Yeah, this is cute. 10 out of 10 for me. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the link to this mocktail down in the description box. Feel free to add your liquor if you should choose. 
I am so incredibly happy that this drink went over well. So I'm going to take this drink and my little frozen pizza and enjoy the rest of my Friday night. So thank you guys so very much for watching the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and I will catch you in the next one. Thank you.